In this triad exercise, we're looking at how to determine whether the graph of a relation represents the graph of a function. So it's similar to what we've looked at in the past, only now instead of looking at it algebraically, we're going to look at it graphically. Now if you remember, a relation is a function. If and only if, for every input, there's only one output. For every x value, there's only one corresponding y value. Now on this first graph, as you can see, uh, it's a parabola. It's pointing in the upward direction. At no point can we draw a vertical line and intersect the graph at more than one point. Or another way to look at it is, is that you can pick any point on the graph and it's only going to yield one value. There is no x value for which there is more than one y value. Any place you draw a vertical line, that's called the vertical line test. Any place you draw a vertical line, if it, can, if it intersects with the graph in more than one place, then we know that it's not a function. Because there's more than one y value for that x value wherever that vertical line is drawn. Uh, in part A, we've already shown doesn't matter where we draw a vertical line uh, it's only going to intersect the graph in one place and we can look at any point on the graph in other words and it's going to be one x value and one y value so for part a this is a function or it is the graph of a function now with part b we have a circle well if you look on here there are multiple points on this graph or if we draw a vertical line, we intersect that circle in more than one place. In fact, the only place that it's not going to have uh, a vertical line that intersects in more than one place is if it is tangent to the outside of the, the circle. It only touches one point on the circle. But in this case, anywhere in the interior of the circle, any vertical line is going to intersect it in two places. So this is not a function.